Um, Joya, you've uh, you had a bit of a rough start to the tournament, or at least not as planned, I would say. Um, how are you feeling about how day one went? I mean, it's definitely not the best, but I mean, uh, majors more like just getting to playoffs. Like the teams are always going to be good. It's not like a regional. Like in regional, you kind of have to want to go like three one, three zero, but. A major every team in top eight is going to be good anyway, so just got to make it there. Yeah. Uh, so you're going into tomorrow one on one, obviously. Um, what does the team need to improve on to make playoffs? Do you think? Uh, it's just confidence. It's a game of confidence. I mean, uh, I'm not playing my best, and I know I don't think that we've shown what we're you know made of. But you know, there's always time. We just need to make top eight and then go from there. So just need to make the crowd, and I think we will. So. Yeah. Um, so you said how everyone here. It's going to be a really good team anyway. Um, does that mean that getting a high seed for the playoffs is more or less important than it is for regionals? I think less important because in regionals, like we got one seed once and got top Cougars. They're not like uh, a major caliber team, I guess. They're not bad, but it's definitely a lot nicer than what you can get in the major. Like if we get eight, we'll still get like a, a top one seed. A top eight seed is also one of the best like if you can make a major you're a good team if you can get top eight at a major you're a good team so i think it's still a lot less important your seed going into this uh, event to be honest yeah um so you've you, you left behind moist after two years i believe um what was the thought process like behind this move to oxygen i mean just felt stale i guess like just recycling teammates and then not underperforming but also not being super successful like just pretty much the fifth to eighth best team in every split in Europe. And uh, it wasn't really enough for me. So, you know, me and Oski started talking, felt like the right thing to do and we just did it. Yeah, so what was that initial adjustment period like on Oxygen? I mean, I could still say that we have an adjustment period right now. Like we've only been teaming for about a few months, which is a lot less than the other teams here. Uh, but I mean, it's hard to be honest. Like I haven't played with players like this in a while. Uh, they're all like world-class teammates. So uh, I haven't, you know, I've been used to that. I've been used to recycling a bunch of like young talent and it's a lot different, but uh, I mean, we have to get used to it now. So do I, uh, we're still adjusting, but we've shown flashes of being amazing. So we just need to like lock that in for top eight and we'll be fine, I think. Yeah, so you also have a new coach, you know, you Noah, know for a couple of years yeah. and I've got Snasky. What's it like to work with him as a coach? I mean, completely different to how it was with Noah. Like Noah was a friend, but a coach as well. and. I mean, he wasn't bad by any means, but to have the like experience of an ex-pro is uh, you know, a lot different. Snasky's a bit more like relaxed and understanding of what it's like to play. And uh, I mean, he's helped us a lot, especially him and Archie have uh, helped me and Oski a lot uh, with like, playing how we do. And, you know, I think he's added a lot to our success. All right. Well, thank you very much. And the best of luck for the rest of the tournament. Thank you very much.